back. Akshay, the first 2022 Corn Ferry Tour event is in the books and you can now call yourself a Corn Ferry Tour champion. I want to hear how you're feeling right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm super happy, obviously. Um, it's just crazy. Uh, I didn't even think I would get these four starts and, you know, somehow I fell into a category to create opportunities for the whole year and just to be able to win out here against these players is unbelievable. And Everything just kind of fell into place this week. Um, my girlfriend caddied me, which probably was such a blessing in disguise. And, you know, I wouldn't be standing here without her. And it's just, it's awesome. When I talked with you earlier this week, you said after these events, I don't know what's going to take place after that. I mean, now you can kind of schedule out the rest of your year. So how does that feel knowing that you have more starts? Yeah, it's great. I'm happy I get to play next week. Uh, my goal today was just try and finish inside the top 10. If I win, great. If I finish anywhere inside the top 10, I'm in the next week. And that was my goal. Um, now for everything to happen the way it did, it's crazy. And I don't know how I managed my emotions, but I did. And I felt really calm. Um, and I think 15 T we were waiting a while. So I just sat and looked at the ocean and somehow it just always gets to me to where I get cleared headed, clear headed. And yeah, it's cool. You're the third youngest to win on a uh, corn ferry tour. And so walk me through how that feels. And then also, um, yeah, just how that feels. Yeah, it's cool. Um, like I said, to play against these guys, you know, guys who have been out here forever, past BJ tour winners and players, it's just awesome. And for me to be able to mentally and physically compete and win at the, you know, one of the highest levels in golf, it's something that, you know, I'll cherish for a while. And, you know, I'll just keep going and try and chase that tour card. I know Sung J M won at 19. Uh, a pretty big name, Jason Day. Yeah. So to be in that category of many teenagers to win out there, that's, that's yeah. a pretty good category with those two players. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely really cool. I mean, those guys are some of the best players in the world, and hopefully I can, you know, keep the legacy on with what they did and, you know, play on PJ Tour. When you turned pro at 17, you obviously had this vision of accomplishing these things like is it is it fun to start to see it all fall into place you kind of mentioned that that's you're seeing the trajectory happen now yeah I mean it's crazy the first year I turned pro is one of the worst years you know I've had playing golf I struggled mentally um, you know I missed every cut I had a lot of people you know expecting me to play well and obviously I expected to play well and it didn't happen but with COVID hitting obviously it was really hard for everyone, but it was a blessing for me because I got to sit back, you know, talk to my coach, realize where I'm at in my life. And after that, you know, my life's kind of, yeah, I've just climbed the mountain slowly and slowly and slowly. Um, and yeah, it is, it's cool to win out here and, you know, I'm, I'm just super happy and thankful. Are you proud of yourself for this? You seem so calm right now, and you kind of mentioned just sitting there looking at the ocean. Like, is it fun to be able to look at yourself and be like, man, how I'm taking in this moment, but being so casual about it? I'm sure I'm going to scream once <laughs> I get back to my hotel room, but yeah, it's cool. I don't, I don't know what to say other than I'm just happy to be here. And it's, uh, you know, this place really is really calm, peaceful. People are beautiful and very nice here. So the atmosphere and the aura about this place, uh, I think kind of leads into why I'm so calm right now, honestly. Golf wise, you said it started to click. Was it what, about the course, your game kind of golf wise? How did it, how did it all? Come yeah. Out? So, I mean, three weeks ago, I dislocated my shoulder and didn't know if I was going to even tee it up this week. And, you know, once I, you know, I started hitting balls about a week ago now I have my swing actually turned out to be get better and better uh, as I went on. And once I got here, I just, the course suit me really well. I, I knew what to do with everything. My coach and I worked, you know, everyone's worked hard with their coach, but me and my coach work every single day. And I just knew exactly what shot I needed to hit on every single, um, every single hole I felt like. And 18 today, you know, I've, I kind of reflected back on the U.S. Open when I qualified. I hit a pitching wedge of like three feet, four feet. So I was just trying to do the same thing there. And for it to hit the flag and have a tap in was awesome. But yeah, I don't know. It's just golf's crazy. Playing through pain all week? 
Uh, sometimes. Some shots would hurt. Uh, I was mentally, I was pretty tough about it, and not being scared about hitting any shots. Um, but yeah, it seemed to get better and better as the adrenaline kept <laughs> rushing through my blood. <laughs> do you know where you stood? Uh, do you are you a leaderboard looker, or did you have any idea? Yeah, I mean, there was three leaderboards out there, I think, and I didn't. I knew Carl, I think, was at 13 under, but it was hard to say because I've seen some scores get messed up this week. So I knew where I stood. My goal was top 10, like I said, and you know, birdies just kind of came to me once I finished the round, and uh, I knew Paul was playing well, but I didn't know if he was seven or eight under, so I didn't know what he was at. Uh, total. Do you think that helps you, the fact that you don't, you're not playing match play against Paul, even though I'm sure you saw with all the cameras that it probably did come down to you because you didn't get into match play with him, or do you, did you get into match play? No, I mean, uh, 17, he hit a really good uh, iron shot, and I knew if I, you know, if I birdie, if I could get two more coming in 16 through 18, I, I had a pretty good feeling that 14 or th whatever I finished at, 13 under would, would get it done. And Paul played great, and it was great because our whole group played pretty much really solid the whole day. So feeding off that energy really, really helps. 14, you sold yourself short. Yeah, what, whatever <laughs> it was. <laughs> Distance and club on your team's approach? 156, the wind was like helping off the left, so I hit just a pitching wedge. I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I made a chip on uh, in junior golf to win by one. I chipped in for eagle at Valhalla, so that was pretty cool. But obviously, for that to you know, for that to seal the deal was, I'm not going to complain about it. One step closer to the PJ Tour card. It's not official, but you're you're setting yourself up well. How do you play the rest of the season? Is it attack now? Yeah, I mean, I'm just excited to play next week. Like, <laughs> I have never had a schedule. And just to be able to have a schedule um, and obviously, like, look forward to play playing certain events like the Rex Open, Hospital Open at my home course. There's just all those things I get to look, uh, look forward to this year. And, you know, I'd like to win three and get promoted <laughs> to the PGA Tour. So that's, I guess that's my goal. Can we bring a special guest down here? Oh, yeah. You gave us the analysis earlier, but what was the dynamic like on the course this week? Good vibes the whole time? <laughs> I guess. I mean, she she can speak on it because she was kind of watching. and. Yeah, I mean, he kept asking me, are you nervous? I'm like, no, I'm fine, but my heart I was say it crazy. as a joke. <laughs> but we try to stay pretty calm, and it worked out. Was there any point where you were saying goals to top ten? Is there any point where that, that starts to flip and you're saying, ah, I go win it now? Uh, no, walking up 18, I told her, or 17 maybe, I told her, like, this is my time to, like, this is my time to win. And just to, for everything to happen with her on the bag and, you know, we get a comped room at Sandals, like everything, n <laughs> nothing could be better. So, yeah, it's just really cool. And she, she always, you know, supports me and is always there for me for whatever I need. I mean, carrying the bag for 72 holes is not easy, especially if it rains or whatever, but it's, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna tell my caddy. I really don't, because this is obviously working right now. <laughs> you know, a little three day vacation now before you're starting up again. What's yeah. what do you do the next couple of days? Is it right back to golf or you take a second to kind of oh, I don't know. relax? <laughs> We're probably gonna eat some food and I'm starving. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think we're on the charter flight tomorrow, so tomorrow we're taking off, and I don't know, we'll hang out. Did you think you would come this early? Hard to say. I mean, did I believe that I could do it? Yeah, but for the caliper of players out here, it's pretty hard to do, and um, yeah, just everything worked out this week. Awesome. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm fine being on the bag still, but it was pretty cool because I know how bad he wanted it, and 
being next to him working for it was pretty cool. Awesome. Congratulations, awesome. guys.